Welcome to my channel. My name is Amber. I make content on YouTube about reselling clothing, specifically about reselling clothing on the Poshmark app. If you want to check out my closet, my closet is Dressed by Amber. Today's video is episode two in two weeks in the life of a Poshmark reseller. In this video, I'm going to show you what I bought, what I bought, listed, and sold over a two-week period. Note that I am a part-time reseller, so my profits, I'm a part-time reseller and I'm also relatively new to reselling, so my profits are nothing compared to people who have done it for a really long time. But I do show you in the video how much I'm actually profiting from every item that I sell. I made a video like this a few weeks ago and a lot of people said they really liked it. I really like making this type of video, so I made another one. If you do enjoy this type of video, please give the video a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below. If you don't like this kind of video, don't worry. Soon I'll have another video that is about a specified content. I know a lot of people really like the Nicole State Mystery Reseller Box. The reason I know this is my subscribers like skyrocketed after I uploaded that video. Uh, if you do like that type of video, don't worry. I have another Mystery Reseller Box on the way. And I will be uploading a review of that as soon as it gets here. Enjoy episode two. My goal for this video is to get to 125 active listings. I currently have 76 active listings, so I'm going to list, and if I sell, I'm going to have to list more and um, let you guys know what sells as I'm listing those items. So here are the three items I sold yesterday. First, I sold these Zella leggings. They're so cute and they're in super good condition. Um, if they were my size, I would be keeping them for myself. I sold these for $20. I paid $3.89 for them. And so I made a profit after fees of $12.11. Second item I sold were these Miss Me Capris. If you watched my jean video, you would see I picked these up at a garage sale about a week or two ago. Uh, Miss Me Jean Capris are size 25. They sold for $22 after fees and my cost of goods. I made a profit of $11.10. Then the third item is one of my favorite things I've ha I had in my closet. Um, these Matisse boots. They're in great condition. They're super cute. These boots sold for $40 after the Poshmark fees and my cost of goods. I made a profit of $25.50. Keep watching and see how my sales do for the rest of the week. Good morning. It's been, uh, this is, it's been three days since I recorded last. Um, my boyfriend and I bought a house, so we've been really busy. And if I look tired, it's because I'm up early because I wanted to record this quick um, before I get some sales shipped out. So, I sold three things the past two days. The first are these um, Gap jeans. I sold these for $11 and I paid 50 cents for them at a garage sale. Um, after fees, I made a profit of $7.55. Next is this American flag LuLaRoe Irma. It's new with tags. I paid $2 for this and I sold it for $17 with a $1.50 shipping discount. So after fees, I made a profit of $10.10. And then the last thing I sold were these Miss Me jeans. If you saw my last video with my jean sales, I bought these at a garage sale on that video. I paid $5 for them at the garage sale and I sold them for $28. After fees, I made a profit of $17.40. And so these three sales, I'm going to get shipped out today, and I made a total profit of $35 on them. Um, I listed two days ago, or three days ago, I can't remember which now. I listed 14 things, including the Miss Me Jeans and the American Flag Blue LuLaRoe. So I'll update below what my total listings is at now. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and I'll be back probably in a couple days with another update, because today we have a moving truck coming, we have a bunch of family coming, so today's definitely going to be busy. And maybe tomorrow I'll make another video. We'll see what happens. The girl that bought the Miss Me Capris a few days ago, she got them in the mail, gave me a good review, and then added these jeans to a bundle. So I sent her... There's a hole in the bottom of the jeans. Um, let's see, where are they at? Right here. And so I had them listed at $18. And after she added them to a bundle, I sent her an offer for $15. She accepted the offer today. I paid $5 for them, so after fees, I'll make a profit of $7. We are officially moved into our new house. Everything is out of the old house, and life is somewhat back to normal. I went back to work today at my full-time job, and I'm going to start reselling some stuff again today at Poshmark, my side gig. 
But I want to put this this um, little video clip together, and I'm going to show you those. So I mentioned earlier I listed 14 new items, and I sold two of them. I'm going to show you the 12 that I haven't sold yet, um, and then I'm going to show you what I'm about to list next. So here are the 12 items that are still listed in my closet. This purse, I showed this in a haul earlier. I have it listed for $25. In the haul, I said it didn't have any flaws and that the same purse had sold for $30 the week before. But I did find that there is a teeny bit of staining inside of the purse. It's hardly noticeable, but it is there and I put it in my listing. Um, so it's probably hurting its ability to sell. Next um, are these Levi's shorts. I showed these in my haul from San Diego. I have these listed at $22. Then these American Eagle shorts have them listed at $15 and I have gotten a few likes so I think that's a good sign that they might be able to sell for $15. I don't know if you can see my dog but if you can that's Jack. <laughs> then I have these Rerock um, capris listed um, for I think $15. Next are these Levi jeans. They're dark wash. I think they're listed for $25 if I remember right. Then these Levi's, I think these are listed much less, but I can't remember off the top of my head, maybe $12 or $15. They're just not as cute of a style. <laughs> I'm doing a voiceover here because my dog started barking like crazy. So these are a pair of Express jeans. I have them listed like at, I don't know, $10 or $15 in my closet. The next item are these Keds shoes. They're in super good condition. I paid around $5 for them, and I have them listed at $25. The next item are these 7 for All Mankind jeans. The brand or the style is Roxanne. They're in extremely good condition, show no signs of wear, and they have a skinny pant leg, which is in style. I currently have them listed at $50, and I've been getting a lot of likes, so I expect I'll be able to get like at least $35 to $40 on these jeans. And then finally, I listed um, four 4th of July shirts. One of them sold, which I showed previously. And then I also listed these three. Um, this is a Lush, Lush shirt, and I have it listed for $10. Got that in San Diego. Then another LuLaRoe Irma, similar to the one I sold. It has Statues of Liberty on it, and it's a size small. And then finally, this shirt, which I think is really cute, and I thought about keeping it for myself, but I just don't know where I'd wear it to. It is a, the Randy style, and it is an extra small with these eagles on it. I have it, the two uh, Lula Rose listed at $20. Okay, and then I want to show you some finds from this weekend. I went garage selling for about an hour on Saturday. I felt like I was being teased because we were moving, and there were three garage sales on our street. And there were never garage sales on our street. But while we were moving, there were three of them. And I kept being like, I, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. But I need to help move first. So I did stop by from noon to one on Saturday. So like, that was at the very end of garage sales. And so I did um, bargain a little bit on some things. So I got this backpack. Um, it is a Kenneth Cole backpack. I, I think it's really cute. And I paid $5 for it. Um, it has like these buttons and inside it looks like that. Next, I got these shoes. The brand is Mark Fisher. As you can see, I paid $1 for these. At the same garage sale, I got these coach shoes. I'm pretty sure they're authentic because she had all of her clothes marked at like 50 cents or a dollar, but she had these marked at $5. Those are the shoes. And then the final item was this fossil purse, which is in perfect condition. I love fossil purses, so I wanted to buy all of her purses. She had like five purses, and there's the inside. But she had them marked at $20, and I, I didn't have that much cash on me, so I offered her $10 for this purse, and she like wasn't sure and hesitating, but I knew her garage sale had been open since Wednesday, so I knew she'd been sitting there for days with this purse. So that's why I offered her so low, and also because then I'll make more money reselling it. But she thought about it, thought about it, and then she said, okay, I'll take $10. So I got this for $10. And then I'm also, tonight, I'm gonna try to list those four things, and then I'm also gonna list the, 
the uh, nine things I got from the Nicole State reseller box. If you haven't looked at that video yet, I uploaded that last night and I'll have a link in the description below. Good morning. I made a few sales and I'm about to package them and send them out before I go to work. So I thought I'd show you real quick what those sales were. I sold these Clark's shoes. Also, my nails are kind of janky right now. <laughs> Try not to look at them. I need to get the rest of them off. I sold these Clark's shoes for $14. I paid $5 for them. Um, and so I just made a profit of $6 after the fees. Not a super great profit, but I've had these listed for a while. I had, I listed those 17 pairs of jeans that I talked about in one of my videos. I mean, sorry, 17 pairs of shoes. And I have like six pairs left out of them to sell. Well, now five, because these are one of them. Next are these high-waisted vintage Levi's. They did sell a little bit slower than other vintage Levi's I bought, I think probably because they were black. They sold for $17. And so Poshmark took out three... 40 in fees. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for this. I have it in my spreadsheet, so I'll update my profit below. I paid something between 50 cents and $2 for them. So I probably made around a $13 profit. And then finally, I sold these Rerock for Express Capris. I had them listed at $15. Someone offered me $10. And I was kind of worried about this brand being able to resell for a lot. So I decided to take her offer. I paid $2 for them at a garage sale. And so after fees, I will make a profit of $5. I'm not sure what day we're on now, but I'll write it down below. Uh, I have been super busy. I think I mentioned before that we moved. I think I said that at the beginning of the video. Yeah, so we moved and this week we've just been unpacking and then we had to get a new like sewer line and water line put in. So we've been doing like a lot of work talking with plumbers and talking with the city and stuff like that to get that all arranged. So it's been a little bit busy and I haven't had a lot of time for Poshmark. But I did make a sale today, so I wanted to update you guys. And I'm also doing an experiment. So today is Saturday, so I don't have to work at my full-time job. And we don't have anything going on with, like, the plumbing and all that today. So my plan is I'm going to go back and forth between Poshmark and cleaning the house because we still have other stuff that needs unpacked. I made a sale this morning. I sold my first item from the Nicole State box. I sold the H&M tank top, and I said I was going to list it. I think I said I was going to list it at $5 in that video. That's what I listed at, and that's what it sold at. So I made a $2 profit. I'm gonna get this packaged up and shipped out this morning. So my experiment, this is what I'm doing. I have 10 items at the top of my closet and I'm gonna share them all day. Every 15 minutes, I'm gonna share those 10 items. I started at 9.30, it is now 10 o'clock. So I, well, it is almost 10 o'clock. So I've shared them twice. I shared them at 9.30, I shared them at 9.45. I'll share them again at 10 and then I'll keep going. I'm not sure what time I'll end, but I'll update you at what time I decide to end. So I got that item packed up. I'm about to leave now. I'm going to go to the library first to print out the shipping label, then go to the grocery store to mail the item and also pick up a few things. But of course, it's Saturday morning, so I'm going to stop at some garage sales. And I brought our two dogs with me to keep me company and because they love going for rides. Monty! Hey! Today I listed five new tags LuLaRoe items. They're all size 2XL. The first is this Julia style dress. I love the print on this. It is actually a lot brighter in person. I don't know why it's coming out so dark on camera. Second is this dress. It's also a 2XL um, Julia dress. The third item is this. This one is Nicole, I think is the style. Yes, Nicole. It's a size 2XL and it's this really pretty um, rose design and pastel colors. The fourth item is also in a Nicole style and it is gray with blue trim. And then finally is this maxi dress and it's also a size 2XL. So I have um, all the dresses listed at $25 and the skirt listed at $20. It is now a couple days after I did that sharing experiment. I ended up sharing um, every 15 minutes between 9.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. I was planning on doing longer, but I was out doing errands and my phone died, so I had to stop sharing. I did not get any sales during that period. However, during that time, someone bundled nine items together, and two of them were in the ten that I was sharing over and over again. And so she bundled the nine items, and then a few hours went by and she didn't buy them. So I sent her an offer, and then 24 more hours went by. She didn't accept my offer, but then... Last night, she went and bought the bundle at the original price I had it listed at. So I'm going to show you those nine items. 
a lot of the items she bought I've had in my closet for more than two months so I've dropped the prices down so I didn't make as much profit as I initially hoped when I bought the item but I still made profit on every single item so I'm happy with the sale I did notice that she bought a variety of sizes she bought a two a four a six an eight and a ten so it's possible that she plans to resell these in her own closet I know some people don't like selling to other resellers but I don't care like if if she can make more money on them all the power or all the power to her so let's get into what I sold. First of all, I sold, I have a list here so I can keep track of what I sold it for and um, my total profit. The first item is this J. Jill skirt. This is one of the first things I ever bought to resell. I was watching resellers and quite a few people sold J. Jill. So I liked this skirt, it has pockets, it's in really good condition. It is a size eight petite. I think maybe the petite made it harder to sell but she had it down to eight dollars in my closet so and i paid five dollars for it so after the discount and the poshmark fees oh i had a 15 and i had a 15 percent discount if you did a bundle so after a discount and the fees i only made a 21 cent profit on this skirt so this is my worst profit but i still profited and i got back the money i spent on it the next item that sold was this talbot's red plaid skirt this sold for 15 dollars and I bought this at a garage sale that was fill a bag, like a big trash bag for $5. So it came out to 22 cents an item. So I paid 22 cents for this skirt. I sold it for $15 after the discount and fees. I made a profit of $9.53. Next was this Ann Taylor skirt. I had this skirt listed at $13. I paid $2 for it after the discount and fees. I made a profit of $6.45. Next, she bought two pairs of jeans. First was one of the 10 things I was sharing, the Rockin' Republic jeans. I had these listed at $20. After fees and the discount, I made a profit of $8.71. I also sold these jeans. These jeans I was really disappointed in. I thought they would do much better than they did. The brand is Paper Denim and Cloth, which was sold at Anthropology, And the jeans are in perfect, like, perfect condition and I think they're really cute also. So I had those listed at $20. I paid $6.49 for them. After the discount and fees I made a profit of $6.51. Next are these shorts. This is another one I bought for the brand. The brand is cut from the cloth. Um, I think maybe because they're Bermuda shorts and they're size 2. That's why they did not sell well. I had these down to $11. I paid $3.69 for them. After the discount and fees I made a profit of $3.46. Next is this Hard Rock Cafe shirt. Again, very cute in condition like the person maybe wore it once. I paid 50 cents for the shirt at a garage sale. Sold for $15. I made a profit of $9.25. And then the last two things. This was from the Nicole State Box. It sold, I had it listed at $10 after the discount and fees and I paid $3.50 for it. After the discount and fees, I made a profit of $3. And then finally, this Lush tank that I bought in San Diego, um, I had it listed at $10. It was worth a lot less than I thought it was when I was in the store and bought it. Anyways, but it sold for $10 and I paid $3 for it. So after the discount and fees, I made a profit of $3.51. So in total, she paid, let's see, the selling price was $122. And then there was 15% discount of $18.30. And my cost of goods for the item was $28.67. Poshmark took 20% and in the end I made a profit of $50.63. So it's time to get these all packaged up and mailed out. I am at Hy-Vee now to ship out that bundle of nine items. It is pouring outside so I thought, well I have a couple minutes Maybe the rain will let up and I can record the closing to my video. I did not get to 20, 125 active listings like I had hoped and I'm pretty far away from it now that I sold those nine more items. I, I know by now the video is pretty long so I'm just gonna wrap it up here. If you enjoyed this video you should check out the channel of, or you should check out Flippin Dork's channel. I w have watched his videos for a while. He buys a lot of furniture and electronics and sells it on eBay but his style of video is very similar to the style of this video and of my 32 jean video. And I really like watching his videos, which is why I decided to do that style for my own video. I'll link his YouTube channel down below and you should go check out his channel. Thank you for watching. 
Please like if you enjoy this video and comment with any thoughts that you have. Bye.